What is up, Heat Nation? Welcome back to King Me Sports. I am back in the building. Shout out to everybody who's sticking around. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I am back. Things happen, life happen, couple big things going on. The season is upon us, and that means we gotta come back in here in full effect. I'm gonna slowly start rolling over content. Shout out to everybody who's still here, still subscribed, and if you're brand new here, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button to help us get back in this algorithm, man. You already know what it is. Let's get to the content. P.O.P. Now listen, I know we've been sitting back. Everybody's been watching the Dame news or not. Probably a few of y'all just forgot we was going after Dame anyway. I mean, it's been like life goes on for the Miami Heat, basically, right? We've been hearing about Damian Lillard. Is he coming to the Miami Heat? Is he not? Is he staying in Portland? What other teams are interested? Now, listen, we're not going to go into all the speculation, but we're going to talk about what's going on right now. And right now, this report came out that Damian Lillard would only report to training camp in Miami or Portland. Now, I know you're probably watching this and you're like, all right, what? does that mean listen this is what it means because it means something dame will only report to miami or portland what this does it creates some urgency for these two teams and that leaves it with only two options either portland has the option of trading dame to miami or keeping dame in portland now the problem with keeping dame in portland is that portland knows that if they keep dame in portland for too long because portland really doesn't have urgency to trade dame now because he's signed through the season so keeping Dame right now is probably something that they can do. So the problem with this is you risk the chance of having Dame walk away and you getting nothing. Now, what it does on the flip side is the fact that if Dame is saying he'll only report to Portland or Miami for training camp, this literally creates a chain effect where all the other teams that were interested no longer are interested because they know that Dame does not want to play for them. So what this does is it takes off all these other options that Portland Portland is trying to find off the table because these teams simply won't be interested in a player who doesn't want to play for their organization. Now, the issues have always been that Portland feels like they're not getting enough for Dame. And rightfully so. Dame is a superstar. And right now, our packages of Tyler Hero and Jovic and these draft picks, just not enough for Portland. But with Dame saying this here, this creates some kind of tension because now Portland has to understand that a lot of other teams won't be interested. And if they are interested, they're not ready to blow their teams up but they also know that there's a big risk in here in getting a player who doesn't want to play for their organization so now this kind of almost forces portland to listen to miami and what they're offering and it kind of puts them in a place where this is probably the best you're gonna get because if you let dame stay and you let him go out his course finish his contract you risk the chance of dame leaving and you getting nothing from it and i know this is something that puts portland kind of in the driver's seat now and they really have to continue these talks and i feel like now it will push the talk but this kind of creates a situation where something has to be done. Now, remember, Portland doesn't have to do anything at all. They can be patient in this, wait this out, sit it out, and tell themselves, well, if you ain't bringing us something good, we ain't doing nothing. And obviously, we know what the game is. It's all a negotiation. We all know Dame wants to leave. Dame probably won't stir up the pot and create any controversy because Dame is all about his values, respectfully. So for those who are sitting back thinking, you know, this Dame thing is like out of the wind and it's not happening, there's still some possibility here. Now, will this drag out to the season, to the beginning of the season? Yeah, I see it happening. But something's gonna be done here and it's either gonna happen during the season or it's going to happen when dame's contract has run its course but at that point that leaves portland at a bad position and right now man it's just one of those things that's just up in the air and just a super big unsolved mystery so all you're going to get really from us here on youtube and all these other things is you're just going to get a whole bunch of speculation of us just trying to wonder what the heck is going on but listen let me know how you feel about the dame thing is this something that you still want are there players that you're willing to give up for him sound off in the comment section man and listen everybody who's here who been here welcome back to the channel we're gonna bring y'all some more content we're gonna keep this thing going i appreciate y'all for rocking with me it's your boy good king me sports you know the vibes way off in the deep end like usual get the sweat they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts it's caught me slipping once okay so what